Morten, hvordan er vi overhovedet endt i den situation, vi er i nu? Jamen, det er meget rimeligt lige at, at prøve at se, hvad førte der til. For vi har jo været udsat for en massiv misinformation fra russisk side. Så man har glemt lidt af, af det, der ligger bag alt det her. Og det starter, som du siger, i Kiev, hvor den tidligere præsident Yushchenko, han øh, sætter sig for, at... Øh, øh, eller... Øh, han, han sætter sig for, at... at øh, ikke Yushchenko, det er noget sludder og vrøv. Det er Janukovic. Det er det, vi taler om. Han sætter sig for, at øh, han vil hellere støtte øh, Putins Eurasiske Union, end han vil lave aftaler med EU. Okay, der starter protester. På et tidspunkt begynder sikkerhedsstyrkerne at skyde. 100 mennesker bliver skudt, og parlamentet beslutter at afsætte ham, og han flygter. Og det er ikke, som Moskva siden har hævdet, det er ikke øh, et kup. Det er sket i overensstemmelse med grundloven. Så snopper Putin Krem, og det gør han ved et regulært russisk inspireret militærkup. Russerne har selv soldater med, det har han siden indrømmet, selvom han i første omgang løg om det der. Og øh, dermed så bryder han alle internationale spilleregler. Øh, så følger en væbnet opstand i Øst-Ukraine, som er inspireret af russerne. Der er russiske våben, der er russiske såkaldt frivillige tropper med derinde. Øh, og midt i det hele så kommer nedskydningen af det der passagerfly. Efter alt at dømme et øh, uheld, hvor oprørerne med Russisk forsynede missiler skyder det ned, men øh, sådan som de opførte sig, fik man det aldrig rigtig opklaret. Okay, der starter protester. På et tidspunkt begynder sikkerhedsstyrkerne at skyde. 100 mennesker bliver skudt. Og All the evidence shows uh, that people who were killed by snipers from both sides, among policemen and then people from the streets at they were the same snipers killing people from both sides. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's It's the same, same handwriting, the yeah. same type of bullets, and it's really disturbing that now the new, uh, new coalition, that they don't want to investigate what exactly happened, so that there is now stronger and stronger understanding that behind snipers, they were, it was not Yanukovych, but it was somebody from the new coalition. Og parlamentet beslutter at afsætte ham, og han flygter. Og det... The people of Ukraine, our country, cannot depend on the mood of the president who withdrew from executing his duties and remains at an unknown location. Det er ikke, som Moskva siden har hævdet. Det er ikke uh, et kup. Det er sket i overensstemmelse med grundloven. Is Nikolai Petro, professor of politics at the University of Rhode Island. He's been in Odessa since July 2013 as a Fulbright research scholar. Uh, Nikolai Petro, let's begin with you in Ukraine. Um, do you agree with what the president, or now the former president, Yanukovych, said, that this is a coup? Yes. Uh, it's pretty much a classical coup, because under the current constitution, and the president may be re may resign or be impeached but only after the case is reviewed by the constitutional court and then voted by a three-fourth majority of the parliament and then in either case either the prime minister or the speaker of the parliament must become the president instead that's not what happened at all så snopper putin krem og det gør han ved et regulært russisk inspireret militærkup russerne har selv soldater med det har han siden indrømmet selvom han i første omgang Nøj om det der. Planned referendum in Crimea to decide whether the region will stay part of Ukraine or become part of Russia will take place this Sunday. Here's all you need to know about the vote. What questions will be asked in the referendum? The main question is whether Crimea will be united with Russia or stay as part of Ukraine. What's the likely outcome of the vote? Given the current situation, the outcome is hard to tell. But the Crimea parliament speaker has said more than 75% of Crimeans support reuniting with Russia. Crimeans voted overwhelmingly on Sunday to break away from Ukraine and join Russia in a referendum the West condemned as illegal. 
With half the ballots counted, 95.5% of Crimea residents voted to break away from Ukraine, according to local officials. Uh, så følger en væbnet opstand i Øst-Ukraine, som er inspireret af russerne. Der er russiske våben, der er russiske såkaldt frivillige tropper med derinde. We start with last night's massacre in the Ukrainian city of Odessa. Uh, this is the building where for weeks those protesting against the country's current authorities were gathering and at the time when ultra-nationalists and football fans, after marching through uh, the central streets of the city, arrived, many of the activists were inside the building and we now hear that over 30 people were killed there. Some of them burnt alive while others suffocated to death or were killed trying to jump out of the windows. This is what we hear from the eyewitnesses. Og midt i det hele, så kommer nedskydningen af det der passagerfly. Efter alt at dømme et uheld, hvor oprørerne med russisk forsynede missiler skyder det ned. Now here's what we know so far. Evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by a surface-to-air missile that was launched from an area that is controlled by Russian-backed separatists inside of Ukraine. We picked up the imagery of this launch. About our assessment that this was an SA-11 fired uh, from uh, Russian-backed separatist-controlled territory. We know the trajectory. We know where it came from. We know the timing. And it was exactly at the time that this aircraft disappeared from the radar. I would ask people who don't believe our assessment to say, okay, what other possible explanation could be could there be for that? They well, defy logic, right? Well, жители близлежащих сел уверяют, что видели в небе боевые самолеты незадолго до катастрофы. Именно истребители, по их мнению, могли сбить Боинг. Два взрыва было в воздухе, вот это вот как он разрывался, и туда полетело по сторонам. И рядом еще один был самолет военный, все видели. Ниже шел, потому что его видно было. Ниже он шел пассажирского еще. Юні загибелі літака українська авіація не працювала. Реально свихало два хлопка, ну як вистріл, як ми вже попривикали, і великий взрив був. І я впадав, ото ж коли гул був великий, ну я вже слышу, як за движенням же ж, і звук же як же ж йде. Голову казав, а тут от над головою, і тут ще один гул, і ще один гул. Я піднімаю і дивлюся, високо маленький воєнний був, серебряне єдніще було. Так що був другий, це по-любому, 100% був другий самоліт. Были звуки разрыва, но они были в небе, в небе. Потом этот самолет вот так вот резко развернулся, поменял траекторию и поехал, все полетел вот в ту сторону. Был большой взрыв. Ну, он летел, но ну, там действительно иллюминаторов не было видно. Ну, на уровне ну, самых высоких деревьев был. Через пару минут пошел звук улетающего самолета. Хороший звук улетающего самолета. В ту сторону. Самолетов было два. Один прошел вот так, ну, вот так, в ту сторону. Ну, в общем, было два самолета. Earlier, the Ukrainian officials reported that on the day of the Boeing 777 crash, there were no military aircraft available in this region. So, as you can see, this doesn't appear to be true. I would also say that these aren't competing narratives from two uh, equally uh, credible sources here. The Russian government has repeatedly uh, put out misinformation and propaganda throughout this conflict in Ukraine. So uh, I would caution you from saying that this is just two equally well, credible sources. Well. The social media showed them with uh, this system moving through the very area where we believe the shoot town took place hours before it took place. Social media, which is an extraordinary tool, obviously, in all of this. Keep going, uh, a, well, or you want to well, jump in? Well, is there stuff that's other than social media? That, yes, that you're absolutely, there okay, is. So what is it that's other than social media? At this media? point, Matt, we've said uh, what our assessment is, very strong assessment publicly. If there's more information that that's based on that we can share, uh, we're happy to do so. We'll continue looking at that. But look, this is what we know as of right now, based on open information, which is basically common sense, right? We know where it was fired from. We know who has this weapon. Well, to conclude, I'd like to mention that all the briefed information is based on the objective and reliable dates of the various Russian equipment in contrast to the accusations against us that are made without any evidence.
your argument would be that the U.S. is more credible than the Russians are. I'm right? not even going to find that question with a response. Well, I mean, you. But we're more credible. Yes, we don't put out mass amounts of propaganda. We don't put out misinformation about what's happening there repeatedly over the course of this conflict, which I've spoken about from this podium day after day. Absolutely. The problem. Мы ничего не трогаем, по максимуму. Мы, собственно, не убираем там ничего по одной простой причине. Там все время собираются какие-то группы международных экспертов еще раз приехать и еще раз поработать. Да, пожалуйста, мы максимально заинтересованы в честном, максимально тщательном расследовании причин этих, этой катастрофы. Ну, понятно, что у нас тут как раз интерес есть, и он простой, примитивный. Потому что мы понимаем с абсолютной ясностью, что этот самолет сбит был, вольно или невольно, это уже не важно, да. Der står vi så i dag. Men øh, sådan som de opførte sig, fik man det aldrig rigtig opklaret.